talked about changing from a workstation keyboard for live to uh, a different kind of a setup, more mobile, hopefully more modern. And so this is what I've come up with so far. I've used it for two weeks at band practice. The first week was just the mobile rig. Uh, the second week I was able to add these keyboard accessories and I'll talk about those in a minute, but they really helped streamline my setup. So I wanna talk about uh, why I made the switch. I wanna talk about what I'm using here and then what I think may be coming for the future. So I hope you'll stick around. Appreciate you stopping by. So my setup is fairly simple. I'm just using a four port powered USB hub using the iPhone, Focusrite Solo, Scarlett Solo, the Apple camera connector kit for the iPhone. It allows me to charge and run into the USB port at the same time uh, through charge through lightning and then USB out. So I don't understand necessarily all of the magic that happens, but my signal um, is generated, MIDI signal is generated here in the Arturia Key Lab. Runs through this box, which runs through this phone, and runs back through the box to the Focusrite, and then the audio output from the Focusrite to the mixer. And I have a few different software synthesizers that I use in the iPhone. Uh, right now, I'm pretty happy with that setup. At some point, I may have to switch to an iPad just because it's hard to see and switch around uh, on, the, on the iPhone screen. But that is the current rig. So the nice thing about this is I only have to plug into power for the powered hub. It sends out power to everything else. So actually, the cables that come off of this rig are uh, one power out of the hub, there is the audio output from the Focusrite, and then I didn't set this up very good, but I have my microphone also mounted to that stand over there. And so an audio microphone cable comes out uh, to uh, carry the vocals to the mixer. So you've seen how the rig is wired up. Uh, the other additions that I've made that I'm super happy with are these two keyboard stand accessories. Uh, they bolt right into the end of the keyboard stand right here. You just loosen this up and they pull right out of this tube. Um, but it's a fully flexible boom arm for a microphone. So I can get this, I can get my mic up wherever I need it for the vocals. And then of course this accessory tray um, bolts into this other side of the stand. So this was nice because it came with uh, double-sided, sticky-sided Velcro. So I actually have Velcro pads uh, attached to the surface of the stand and then I just put Velcro on the bottom of each of the components. So I literally can just take this right off of the keyboard stand, throw it in a box. Um, I have to unhook like two cables and, that's, and then it's ready to go. So I get it out, put it on the stand, hook my two cables in and I'm, I'm ready to rock. It's, it's a great setup. Uh, it's perfect for what I'm trying to do here. I think, you know, you could spin this around, you can use it at different angles. Uh, it's not quite big enough to hold sheet music, in my opinion. I guess if you had a binder that you felt like wasn't going to fall off of there, you could maybe use that, but it's a little too small for that. For something like an iPad or a small mixer, sound module, different things like that, it's, it's absolutely perfect. Um, I'm really happy with, with these accessories. Um, I think they're going to make all the difference. And the nice thing is I don't have to find a chair or other table to set these accessories on each night when I go to play. They're already going to, it's already just going to sit right up here for me. And then being able to throw this boom arm into my backpack, because uh, it, it compacts down a little more than this, but being able to throw that into my backpack means I don't have to carry a whole nother microphone stand with me. So it, it frees up a hand for carrying gear in and out, uh, makes breakdown faster. So anyway, those are the keyboard stand accessories that I've added that really are, are making a difference and I highly recommend these. So that wraps up the tour of my new live rig. Uh, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Do you have any suggestions, any things that I could do to improve this setup? Um, I'd be happy to hear about those. Uh, overall, I'm, I'm really happy with this, as I've said. Um, the accessories are very helpful to me. It's nice to have the flexibility of modern sounds. 
and a much wider variety than I was able to get in just a standard uh, workstation keyboard, the, the presets anyway. So again, I appreciate you stopping by and watching. Thanks for sharing your time with me. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.